Well, for me, September 11, 2001 is a, a vivid memory, and I, I'm sure it is for most people. Um, you remember where you were and what the day was like, the weather, the blue skies, you know, 70, 72 degrees. I mean, really, all of that day rushes back to me. And of course, because I was at Ground Zero and I was in the concourse level, um, the shopping area between the North Tower and the South Tower, Building 1 and Building 2. And, and Building 1, uh, the North Tower is where Windows on the World was located. And I was in the eyeglass shop. I was getting my reading glasses adjusted. You know, I uh, have often thought about this. Um, the, they're only reading glasses, but the, the lens was scratched and I, I really I needed my glasses to be fixed and I went into to just get a new lens, which of course is never, nothing is ever as easy as, as you think it's going to be. And so they sat me down in a chair and you know, did a whole vision test and eye test and took my glasses and looked at it and I wound up sitting there for 40 minutes and at some point towards the end of the examination, I felt a jolt, I felt a, a vibration, a strong rumble. And the shop was located just adjacent to the subway lines and I thought, gee, I've, I've been in this building for four years, I've never felt the subway so, so strongly. I've never felt that, that jolt from rumble from the subway and in fact it wasn't the subway at all, but it was the first plane hitting Tower One. You know, it was only two or three minutes went by and um, they started to evacuate the concourse level. Lights were out in the concourse and um, lights were still on in the shop, uh, but the shop emptied out and um, we were in the back, in a back examining room. The doctor was looking at my glasses and we really didn't know what had happened. Someone pounded on the door and said, Something happened, you got to get out of the building. And from the minute I left the shop, it was chaotic. Um, there were hundreds of people who were pouring out of the subway into this concourse level, and they were being directed out onto the street. And I went out onto Liberty Street, which was up a flight of stairs and out a double set of doors. And before I could even get out that door, I could see something dreadful had happened because there was debris in the street uh, that had evidently fallen from the building, from the impact. There was burning debris that um, uh, was more than papers and it was likely the skin of the building, the shell of the building, or even the fuselage of the plane because Liberty Street is south of Tower One, so it would have been really the direction of the plane. And um, those vivid memories, the first thing really is, is Ladder 10, is Engine 10. The firehouse that was on Liberty Street was just across the street from the exit that I was going out of, and I can see the trucks, the ladder on the street, and I could see the firemen looking up, and you know, I, I knew something had happened. I had worked there for four years, and the, when I saw that there was something really dreadful had happened, uh, of course my mind went to, who's working today? Who's up there today? Who's at Windows today? And, um, you know, I started to just do a mental check of, you know, who's, who's in the kitchen, who's in the dining room? And um, it was just a... Uh, the kind of experience that I know will stay with me for the rest of my life. And I, I lost so many colleagues, friends. Um, 79 were lost at Windows on that day. And, um, you know, I've spent really every day of my work life since then, I've actively, consciously dedicated to the memory of my friends because we were all in it together, you know. We were all in hospitality, the restaurant business, uh, together. And, um, you know, my, my good fortune that, that I'm here to, to tell the story, but 
you know, I'm, I, I feel blessed. But I, I never start a work day where I don't think of a friend or a colleague where this day isn't dedicated to their memory because this is the work they were doing when they lost their lives and this is the work that I am fortunate enough to be able to do and I, I dedicate my work life to them and I have for the last 10 years.